Welcome back. And now we're going to look at architectures. So from what we learned previously regarding the business from domain driven design, now we'll jump into some more strategic design on potential architecture solutions on how you could implement a domain driven system. And for that, uh, first, I want to tell you that uh, there are no perfect architectures. Uh, I've never seen one. There's always been um, pros and cons in a certain architecture that you will pick or, or design from scratch. Um, there's, especially when you have um, an, an existing system that you need to work with, not a greenfield project, but, but an existing system, um, that system may not be perfect, but it usually has an architecture even though it was not intentionally designed, but it has an architecture already, keep that in mind. So identifying what type of architecture an existing system or legacy system has, of course, will be very, very important for you to understand on the on the strategic design moving forward or on any implementation that you need to add into an existing architecture. Can domain-driven design be implemented in an existing system or not? And then um, really, this is something that you may not know, but in my opinion, there are no perfect architectures. There's always compromises, either a compromise on the budget or a compromise on the on the timeline or a compromise on the features or, or the requirements that you have or being given to. And so you have this triangle of give and take. And so even though in a cloud computing space are developing a 100% cloud-based system or solution, uh, still won't be perfect. Uh, there will be cases that you, depending which domain you're working in, uh, that you find that you could have done it better this way, but you would have had to pay the price on the other end. So keep that in mind. Uh, there's no such thing as perfect architecture. And the ones I'm going to show you also are not going to be perfect. They may not even fit in your case. But uh, what I've learned is uh, the last architecture that I will show you can be implemented in a lot of... Um, maybe 60 to 80 percent of, of problem spaces that you that you encounter uh, especially with greenfield projects if you're lucky enough to start a project from scratch fantastic then you should definitely consider domain driven design and the things i will show you in the next lectures